This was this morning. Representative Burgess Owens holds up Bible, tells committee it's been banned from all of us since 1963. In a congressional hearing on book banning in public schools, Utah's Representative Burgess Owens decried to the House Education and Workforce Committee that Americans today have no knowledge of the Golden Rule or the Ten Commandments and that there is the greatest disdain for these laws, whatever Democrats rule. The reason, he said, is because the Bible has been banned for the last 60 years. The 1963 U.S. Supreme Court case that Owens was referring to was Abington School District versus Shemp, in which justices ruled that Bible readings and prayers in schools were a violation of the First Amendment's establish, Establishment Clause. The decision did not, however, stop Bibles from being placed on the school library shelves. One of our nation's most consequential books banning was done by the Supreme Court in 1963 when it officially mandated Bible reading. This book is banned from all of us, anything that deals with federal. No longer can see it, no longer can read it. Owen said, hoisting a worn copy of the scriptures. Matter of fact, there's some that are listening today probably think this is totally unconstitutional that I can even hold it up. So this is an example of the courtroom of this world. So um, I've said before that um, there is God's law and then there's this world's law. And because man was given free will, if you're going to put in stupid laws, then you will live with stupid consequences. Uh, that you create for yourself, and we live under many stupid uh, laws. However, um, God was fine with it. If you want to stay in your slavery, you can. Can you just please follow my laws, really what God was saying? Instead, everybody wants to blame God. Yeah, he kept everybody enslaved. No, man did. Everybody did. So, um, but ultimately, there is a Supreme Court above all these courts that's always there, always. Always. And knows the just from the unjust. And that's this court. Yeah, that's it. And this world would laugh at that science, your higher educated, many, many people who think they're so proud in their arrogance and atheism that, um, oh, how ridiculous. Really? It seems pretty logical to me. Especially given that everything Jesus warned about it's like the it's like the talk about a self-help book the Bible is the self-help book um, it's just this world wanted to be it's, it's always been going on always it's the continuing repeating story and man never gets it because man goes to universities and gets stupid but this is ultimately the judge people will answer to mm-hmm even if even even if the lion takes you out early, you still will answer to this court. Even every judge in this land, every judge in the world will answer to this court. For every unjust decision, for not for basically let's let's just say it straight. Not doing the right thing. Not doing the right thing. Justifying poor behavior because you find loopholes to get out of shit. Exodus 23, 2. You shall not fall in love with the many to do evil, nor shall you bear witness in a lawsuit siding with the many so as to pervert justice. Oh, it happens all the time, though. That's why Jesus came. He was trying to save you from this place. And one of the best ones in the Bible, Isaiah 54, 17. No weapon that is fashioned against you shall succeed, and you shall refute every tongue that rises against you in judgment. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their vindication from me, declares the Lord, because he is the ultimate judge. The Supreme Court would be wise to remember that, but they won't. They won't. 
because there's been so many amendments and so many clauses and so many lawyers who, as I've said before, they destroy and shred and tear apart the Constitution and do some of the most god-awful things or they do nothing at all and get tons of money. And yet they don't realize because they're too conformed to this world to think that they will answer to someone. That's the, that's the biggest lie on, on this planet that there is, is that there is not someone that everyone will be, that is, is held accountable to. If you think you can just run through this life, do whatever the hell you want, and you don't care what happens to you, yeah, that's a big mistake. But there's tons of people that'll do that. They don't even have to be higher educated. They're just that stupid. Do you want to know what happened to all of the apostles except for one? Only one died of old age, but he was tortured. And that was John, who wrote the last book of the Bible, Revelations. Yeah. But they were all killed in horrible deaths. And why were they killed? They were killed. They were tortured. They were hunted down, persecuted, and, and killed in the most horrific ways for one reason. Because they spoke truth. No different than today. If you want to believe the liars, then believe them and find your loopholes and your justification of what you think that you'll tell God when you face the almighty court one day. Or you may think that's way off in the distance. You don't know that. You don't. No one knows if in the next breath you're here or not. So it might be good to, um, you know, plan ahead in this case. And, and instead of um, always just... Um, conforming to this world and, and their illogical laws in many ways, not all, but most of them, so many of them, is it's God's law that's important. Yeah, that's the reason the disciples were killed. It was all under law and justice. Um, here's some of them. Let's see. Philip, crucified by soldiers. Thomas, uh, thrust with a spear. Paul, beheaded in Rome. Simon, crucified. Uh, St. Bartholo Bartholomew, flayed and beheaded. Um, Andrew, crucified on an X-shaped cross. Uh, Jim the Greater, stabbed with a sword. James the Lesser, stoned to death. Jude, filled with arrows. And John right here, only one, died of a natural death. But he was, he, he, before he was exiled to Patmos, where he both wrote, um, well, where he didn't write it, but he transcribed the book of Revelations. Um, he was uh, taken to a coliseum and placed in boiling water. And when they pulled his body out, there was no wounds or any harm. So they didn't know what to do with him. So they exiled him to Patmos, where he wrote the final book of the Bible. Matthew, uh, stabbed with a sword. And Judas, everybody knows Judas. He sold Jesus over to the um, Roman authorities, to the FBI nowadays is what you could call it. Um. He committed suicide because he had realized what he did. He betrayed the Almighty God. But it's hard to call that one, too, because it was in the cards to happen that way. But that's what this world does. That's what this world does. to Because all these people died. What they died for was truth. That's it. That's it. You could call these people all criminals. They died for truth because this world would rather listen to man and science tell them a bunch of bullshit that doesn't even have evidence. Just be, But because it's on a spreadsheet, because somebody tells me in some little pretty way and they have all these nice letters after their name, oh, well, of course that's true. Yeah, you'll believe them before you believe the uh, ultimate book of this world. Yeah, there's a, like I said, there's a reason Jesus said the whole world lies with the wicked one. It would be wise for people to see that. Because right now we don't have a justice system that's about justice. But that's not an excuse to lie. Never is it an excuse to lie. You stand up for truth.